Hello guys and welcome back to Nomni Factory. In today's episode, we are going to try and set up DML. So let's just get into it. What do we need to do first? Let's see, it looks like we need this blank data model, which needs some electrical steel, fine gold, circuit, then a pulsating mesh mesh. First off, we need to get this electrical steel. Looks like we make it in the furnace. No way, I will always smelt it. Steel and silicon. Okay. I'm just gonna like make like a, a stack of this stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I wasn't able to make up all the electrical steel that I needed. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do uh, next. Let's see. Simulating resources. Blank data model. So we need four electrical steel plates. There's our electrical steel plates. Go ahead and put this like that in the crafting table. What do we need next? We need some fine gold wire. I'm gonna go get that. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, there's our gold wire. What else do we need? We need a circuit. There's our circuit. What else? We need some pulsating mesh. Let me go make that up real quick. Okay, there's our pulsating mesh in our blank data model. There is our quest. Okay, so I think we'll start off with the zombie model. Here we go. Um, so we need to start automating pulsating polymer play as well. It's for our simulation chambers. So let's just go ahead and start that process. I'll see you once I have some of it set up. Okay, so I've been in my testing world for a little while and I didn't really figure out how to automate the pulsating polymer clay for DML. So, um, I don't really know what to do right now. Let's just follow the quest and see what happens. Okay. So, uh, it looks like we need to get MV machine holes first. MV machine holes, we need aluminum. Um, what, how do you get that? Let's see. You need aluminum dust. Okay, everybody. So I think I found a way in order to power this blast furnace with these uh, LV superconductors. I just have a line going over here. And it won't lose amperage because it's a superconductor. So we don't lose any power with all of this cabling. So let's just try and put some aluminum in. Okay, so we're going to put the circuit in there, as well as our aluminum. Yeah, hey, look at that, our blast furnace is working. Hang on, our power is actually heaping up as well, that's nice. No, she needs more energy. Well. Okay, so how do we get it to have more energy? I guess we need to just upgrade our energy thing. So we can try and take these up to the hardened tier. So what do we need for that? Invar and a block of electrical steel. Okay, let me just go get all this. Okay, I can only make one of these hardened upgrade kits at the moment, but there's our hardened upgrade kit. Go ahead and apply it. Okay, let's try and make our thing again. So we're going to put that right there. Then we just need to connect up back up the wires and start. That was a good. Nope. So it's just running perfectly, but it's not really. Okay, let's just go ahead and redo that. Seems like it still needs more energy. Let me go upgrade all the rest of these then. Okay, and there's all of our hardened upgrade kits. Let's put them on our dynamos. One and two. Now we have all of our dynamos upgraded. Let's go and see if our blast furnace is gonna work. Okay, let's see. Our blast furnace still is not working. Okay, so I think we need to get the 16x energy converter. So we can get 16x wire for our blast furnace. So I'm going to go upgrade these. And I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. And I have gotten this 16x stuff right here. With a bunch of batteries in here. And I just have this 16x cable into this little blast furnace. I have a cable over here to go into there. 
So let's just see if it will work now, now that I have 16x wires and all that stuff. But aluminum and then our circuit. Is it working? Uh, I was about to say it's working. I think we need to connect it to both hatches. Okay, I've connected it all again. Let me try it again now. Program circuit, aluminum. Finally! Okay, well now we have our blast furnace actually working. That took ages, bro. There's our first piece of aluminum. Let's get the quest. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, wait for all this aluminum to finish. I'll be right back. Okay, so there's our first two MV machine holes. There's our quest. We can go and collect the reward. Now what? Now what do I need to do? Because we should have unlocked some stuff. Alright, well I'm going to go figure out what we need to do in order to automate pulsating polymer clay. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, we need five forge hammers. There's our LV extractor. There's our LV electrolyzer. Okay, there's our two basic electric uh, furnaces. Okay, there's our basic alloy smelter. Okay, so I am handicapped by the paralyzed oven, and it's gonna take a long time for me to get all of that, so, uh, I'm going to uh, stop it for uh, today's episode, and I'll see you in the next episode, where we will get the pyrolyze oven, and finally get DML set up. Okay, that is all for me, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.